Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here for videocopilot.net and welcome to the Pro Scores introduction where we're going to take a look at this awesome new collection and show you how you can get the most out of it. All right, first things first, we're using Adobe Bridge. Now, Adobe Bridge is a cool application for organizing your files and just, uh, you know, checking things out. So it's kind of like a file explorer. Now, what I've done is taken all the contents of the Pro Scores DVD or download and put it on my hard drive into a place I can easily access. Now, here's our Pro Scores. That contains all of our music elements and all of our files. So what I want to do is drag this over into our favorites zone and that's going to make a favorite for Pro Scores. That way you open up Bridge and you can always access all the great music instantly and audition different sounds and effects to see what you're looking for. So now that we have all of our files in a really organized fashion, we can go ahead and start looking through it. So first things first, we have our epic music. Now this is the core of Pro Scores and if we open that up, we can see uh, several categories and first we have our inspirational and these are like the tracks uh, that don't have uh, a lot of drums, mainly just kind of, uh, you know, sad music or music that's going to, you know, inspire you after somebody wins a race and, you know, you didn't think he could do it, but, you know, he worked really hard. There was a whole video montage showing how hard he worked and, you know, long and behold, he did it. So. This is great music. It also helps to contrast exciting moments. So you can start a promo out quietly and build it into this huge climactic ending. We'll go ahead and move back. We have our massive tracks. These might be the most popular. Uh, these contain sort of the full orchestra, you know, choir, all the music you'd want to build, you know, great soundtracks. And when you think about building promos and soundtracks, you want to think about them as creating different moods and different feelings at different times. So that's why you want to use different tracks in the same piece or different elements so that you get sort of this feeling you're going on this roller coaster. And that's, uh, you know, that's what I think makes a great promo or a trailer. You'll see they have all these different, you know, high points and low points and sad points and inspirational points. And, you know, they always end with everything going crazy, which definitely cool. So these tracks, So you can pause and play. You can also hit the space bar. There's also a cool preference. If you go edit preferences in the playback, uh, play audio files automatically. And that means when you click on it, it actually starts playing. Okay, so these are some of the main tracks. We'll go ahead and go back. We have our percussion. So these are essentially drum beds uh, with some different atmosphere in the background. Um, so if you play through some of these. You'll find that there's some very cool uh, you know, drums here. And these can be used to, you know, build things up and add intensity. Um, they can be used with the inspirational tracks or some of the atmospheres. These, uh, these tracks, you know, some of them just sound great on their own. Okay, so definitely play with those awesome stuff. Now the power action loops. Now. Don't think of these loops as, you know, short little samples. These are actually full orchestrated songs, very much like the massive tracks, except they allow the music to continue on. So say you were making a DVD menu or a video game menu or something that has sort of a looping track that's got a lot of intensity. These um, are very, very good tracks. <laughs> So 
So, you know, definitely play with some of these. They're, uh, they're very nice. Uh, so going back and our suspense. So some of these just have some, you know, eerie building, you know, sounds and, you know, just work pretty cool. What's in the closet? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Anyway, um, you know, and I'm sure you can think of funny little movies based on uh, some of the names. Um, I know I did. So we'll go ahead and go back. That's our epic music. So that's where you're going to get your core and, you know, some of your uh, high points. Now, the layered tracks. So the massive tracks and the power action tracks all have separate layers that allow you to mix the tracks how you want. So what we've done is we've taken some of the key elements in a track, such as the percussion, the strings and the brass, and the choir, and allowed those tracks to be separated for easy mixing. Now, we didn't separate all of the tracks because that just gets a little too complicated. Nobody really needs that much control. And if you do, you might think about an actual composer. But for all intensive purposes, we found this is the best way to give you as much control as possible without making it overly complicated. So here you'll find tracks similar to the full version tracks, but these have been separated so you can use them how you want. Okay, quick example. If I take the Krypton folder, here I have my three tracks. What I can do is drop them into individual tracks in your audio editor. In this case, I'm using Vegas Video but you can also use Premiere and even After Effects. And what you want to do is put the elements onto separate tracks. Here we have three tracks, and you'll see the SFK files created, and that just is the waveform so that we can actually see it, and those files can be deleted. Um, anyway, so now we can see all of the tracks and all the layers mixed together, and I can listen to the track as a whole. <laughs> Or what I can do is I can go and cut parts of the track so that I can only hear certain elements, you know, as I go. So say I want to start out with uh, just the drums for a few measures. You can see I can very easily, you know, organize it in a way to mix those together. And then down here we have our, uh, you know, choir sounds. And what we could do is cut out the orchestra. So I'm going to go over all the shortcuts and all the ways to edit in the next tutorials. But I just want to kind of show you the idea here is we play the track. So here we can see just the drums and just the choir. And that might make for a cool, you know, melodic sound just before we say, bring it all back in after just a couple of measures. So we could sort of cut everything out for just a moment. And then have it all come back in. And of course you'd want to smooth that out. But the idea is to give you that extra control so you can, you know, make things calm down and then get exciting again, you know, as you need. So Going back to the rest of the elements, I'll go ahead and click back and back. Now we have the editorial. Now the editorial are sound effects and things you're going to use maybe for enhancing music tracks or even you know making your video have uh, more intense edits. Um, first we have the drum hit. So this allows you to just kind of give things a little bit more impact uh, by mixing these in with your other music. And then we have the dynamic set. So this gets a little tricky. This is more for the audio expert who wants to be able to mix specific key elements in with music that has the same key. So here you can see C minor, C minor, and all the different uh, versions, the B minor and the D minor. So that's a little complicated. Um, if you know how to use it, great. If not, they're just you know great sounds that you can use uh, you know wherever you want. So here we have sort of a high pitched swell, and you know down here, you know there's just some different effects. So you can play around with those, and uh, you'll see what we're talking about. 
and miscellaneous. These are just some different fun sounds. Perhaps for some horror movies or, you know, cutscenes. Progressive. These are just some cool tracks. Different rhythm, different sound effects. Definitely play around with these. They have totally different sounds. And we have our stabbing hits. So there's two speeds, 120 beats per minute and 180. And these again are just sort of like cutscene effects. You know, or things you want to use uh, to make things more intense or even ending a track with sort of a hard hit. Strings, these are very cool. Uh, sort of tension building strings or, you know, just strings that allow things to move on. And then these are just some more abstract. So those are cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and go back and we have tension. So these kind of give you tons of, you know, different things. This is when something bad is about to happen and there's nothing you can do about it. So these go great with music and movies and any kind of thing where you want to build this crazy tension. Same with the crescendos and the rhythm spheres. These both sort of build up and then, you know, these also kind of give you a similar. So you'll notice in, you know, modern television and movies, sometimes there's not actually music, but rather just tones and tension and things happening in the background. So this collection allows you to access to those kinds of things. Go ahead and go back. And finally, we have our sound design folder. And this is where you can enhance music and give things, uh, you know, more like effects to make them, you know, more unique uh, atmospheres. These are sort of tones and, and feelings. Uh, so play around with those. We have bombs. These are sort of like big hard hits. And, you know, different tones, some subsonic stuff here. Uh, very cool. Mammoth hits, again, kind of hard hits. Um, you know, some are hard, some are... Uh, more melodic, uh, so play around with those. Musical effects, these are sort of random. You know, cool sounds you want to mix in with your tracks to kind of, you know, create some different feelings. So that's cool. Reversed, here we have some, just some different cymbal effects. You know, they've been processed and they really sound great. So. We'll go ahead and go back, and that, my friend, is the main idea and the main set of tools you have access to with ProScores. Now, if you were to buy, say, a royalty-free track, you're going to spend maybe twenty to fifty dollars, you know. And if you're looking at more of the high-end stuff, you're looking at you know three hundred thousands of dollars just for licenses. And ProScores gives you all of that stuff plus way more that you're going to be able to do all sorts of things. Now, the template files work just like layered tracks. All of the different elements are mixed into different layers and can be overlaid as needed. Now, if you're a music composer yourself, ProScores is great because you can use it not only for some of the great sound design elements, but you can use our music as placeholders for what you have in mind. So we may not have that exact sound you're looking for, but with our tools, you can get the idea across and you know compose the music when you're able to or even use it until you hire a composer and this way you can really explain to them you know where the points are of the tension and let them you know build off of it okay well i hope this helps to give you a good idea about pro scores join us in the next tutorial for building our basic score using this collection i'm andrew kramer and we'll see you next time